Hi Tom, I'm just doing a bit of a recording while I'm having a look at your ads just so that you can understand what I'm doing and my mindset um, or what I'm thinking when I'm looking at ads. So I'll just make the screen a bit bigger. Okay, so I'm in your ad account um, and this is the one that we're looking at. This is the active one. Now, the first thing I notice is you're paying for link clicks and not leads. So that's going to have a big effect on your result because you're telling Facebook, I'm only wanting link clicks. I'm not necessarily wanting them to be, become leads. So the type of traffic that Facebook is sending you for your money is going to be completely different to if you were asking for leads. So that's the first thing. So if I just click on the edit button here, um, and look in here, yeah. So you're doing traffic, which you shouldn't be, and um, that means it's just getting for link clicks. So you should do conversions for this. So I can't change this part. This is the only bit that I, I can't, nobody can change this. You would have to start the ad again. Um, and at the campaign level, you would need to do conversions there. And then you want to do leads. So conversions and then leads. So if we go into the ad set, I'll just have a look at that and make sure that's okay. Um, okie doke, let's have a look. So okay so your potential reach your audience is too big so that's going to affect what's happening as well so you need to have that potential reach to sit between five hundred thousand and one million so if we go down here you've got united states canada and that age range um entrepreneur home-based business and marketing online i would probably pick something around travel to be honest because you want people that are very interested in travel you also want people that are very interested in working from home um but these aren't necessarily the best that's a good one home-based business is a good one um marketing online maybe it, it's not the one i would have picked and i would definitely not pick entrepreneur magazine for this kind of business so I am going to change these for you, um, the, but you're still going to have to do it again. You're still going to have to start a new ad and do it again. In fact, I won't change them. I won't change anything. I'll just advise you. So what I would do um, is probably look at keywords like, um, let's have a look at Ray Higdon. He's big in, um, in network marketing, so he's a good one. Um, I would get rid of Entrepreneur Magazine. Um, and look, I will change these now for you, but you're still going to have to do the ad again. So I'm, I'm probably confusing you a little bit. Um, I would then go, let's have a look. Home-based business, Ray Higdon, marketing online. Let's get rid of that. Oh, you've got quite a few, haven't you? Um, I'm going to get rid of all of these. Yeah, you've got too many keywords in here. I didn't see the rest of them. So I'm going to get rid of all of them. Um, we're still a little bit high here, but let's just uh, have a look and see how we go. So if I get rid of everything and do Ray Higdon, let's just change the age range a little bit. 35 to 65 plus. Okay, you're still obviously too high, 6 million, but... Um, Ah, I know what's going on. If we go down here, you've got an automatic placement. You need to edit the placements and take off all of these things. So take off Instagram, audience network and messenger. That's going to be really hindering your ad. Um, so now it's down to 76,000. So we've taken off those. Then we go back up here, Ray Higdon, and then maybe something like um, network marketing. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, they're quite small. I'm looking at the different sizes here and they're quite small, but there's multi-level marketing. That's probably too big. We'll try it and see what happens. 2.1 million. Okay, we can work with that. So multi-level marketing and Ray Higdon, and then we'll put this up back up to 45 see if that helps 1.2 million um 45 to 64 so if you can when you watch this video make a note that you're doing united states and canada ages 45 to 64 
your interests in multi-level marketing and Ray Higdon. And that should give you a potential reach here of 980,000, which is a much better potential reach. So I'll save it on here for you. Um, and then you need to make sure that you edit your placements and just keep Facebook on there. So just keep Facebook, get rid of Instagram, audience network and messenger. Um, everything else on there is fine. Um, I'm going to publish that so that you've got the set the changes you can work on your new ad because remember you need to start a new ad and under the campaign level it needs to be conversions and not traffic that's the biggest error um, so that's saved uh, it does say ah oh, okay it's saying it's not approved let me just see what the page post can't be used you're using a feed story uh, which can't be promoted in an ad, please choose a different page post to continue. So fix errors. Let me see what you've done. I'm not entirely sure what you've done to make it a page post, but you need to start the ad. Um, let me go into, you've got three ads running. Okay, this is really confusing. Okay, so my advice, um, let me just have a look. You've got one that's inactive. OK, let's just edit that one. Uh, but they've been applied yet published. OK. OK, here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Let me read your story first. So I remember the day late December 2000, I just returned from a trip north Texas. When I came in my house, my wife was sitting in the kitchen. What to her? By the time I go to the doctor. Um, massive cover in there. Okay, I'm going to rewrite your story. I'm going to rewrite your story and send it to you on an email. So I'll send it with the notes for this video. I'm going to rewrite it so that it's much shorter. It's actually far too big. So that's probably why people aren't becoming leads. They're, they're not reading the whole story. So I'm going to make this a lot shorter and to the point. I'm going to send that back with this video to you um, so that you can create a new ad. I'm going to close this off now and I'm going to start the new ad for you. So yours is still live, but I'm going to start a new ad. I'm going to start creating it and hopefully it'll go into drafts and you'll be able to continue. So let me just show you what I'm doing just in case it doesn't save. So I'm clicking here. I'm going to create. Uh, this is all changed. We don't want that. We want a new ad set. Create a new ad set. This is crazy how this has changed. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to campaigns. Let's untick that. And let's go create. Okay, here we go. So your objective, you're not traffic, you want to be conversion. So you click conversions there. It's got conversions there. And then you click continue. This may save for you, but if it doesn't, then at least we know. So you want to have your lead in there. Make sure it's the lead for the, the pixel for the right funnel, the right ad account. I've put it in there, but just double check it. And then, and the way you double check it basically is you can see here Tom Dowdy's pixel. So you just need to check that you're in the right ad account. You may have more than one ad account. So go down here and like I said, we're going to add Canada. Oops. And we're going to do age range 45 to 64. We're going to take off the expand interest button and then we're going to add here. Uh, I think it was multi-level, wasn't it? Multi-level marketing, that one and Ray Higdon. Come on, there we go. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to edit the placements. And we're going to take off Instagram, audience network and messenger. And fingers crossed, it's 980,000. So that is your ad set done. So at the top of your ad set, we've got the age range. And here we're just going to put Ray H. Um, I won't even put MLM for multi-level marketing. We just know it's Ray Higdon. So that's your ad set name. And then 
we're going to go, uh, let me see, let me see. We don't actually want it to go live yet. So I'm just going to put a start date here of um, July 31st because you'll have to change this before you get it live because you don't want it just to run for four days. Um, so that's that. Leave all of this and then click continue. And then here um, you need to add your picture. Now, ideally, you should add a picture of yourself. So if you've got an image you can upload from Facebook or something, you want to add a picture of yourself here. Something where you're wearing your hat, something that's fun. Um, you know, take a photo of yourself today and upload it. Something where you're in your hat, in the garden, and you're smiling and you're looking at the camera. That's the photo that you want to add here. And then we're going to add your website URL here and your story that I'm going to send back to you um, will go here and then the headline, I'll send the headline and I'll send back the subheading for the newsfeed link description. So I'll send all of that to you in a second um, and then you're ready to go. So the things you need to do, if this will save, I'm just hoping it'll save, but if not, you know what to do because you're going to watch this video. So um, it's not going to, yeah, it won't let me confirm it because I've got to fix the errors and I can't do that. So um, I'm going to send this video to you now. You just need to check it all out, make sure you know what you're doing, change all of those things, stop the other ad and um, and we'll go from there. Um, shout me if this, you know, if you get stuck on anything, but um, pretty much I think you're going to start getting results once it's running for leads. And so you've got that conversion in the campaign objective. You've done your ad set like I've told you to do here and um, then just put the content in like I've said. So a photo of yourself looking at the camera, maybe in your hat, in your garden, something bright and cheery. Um, I'll change the, um, the ad story, sorry, and I'll give you a headline and I'll give you a newsfeed link description. So I'll give you those to put in there and then you should be good to go. If you feel um, uncomfortable about press and go, confirm it once you've done it all, then message me again, let me know, and I will check it before it goes live and probably put it live for you. So um, so they're the things you need to do, but there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel, Tom. There was just a couple of things that we needed to change. So hopefully that makes sense and you can get on and make those changes. Let me know once you've done it and I'll help you look through it and make sure it's good to go. Thanks.